Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into a spooky world of side-scrolling roguelite action with Death or Treat, a game that puts you in the shoes of Scary, a traveling candy sales ghost visiting Hallowtown. This game draws inspiration from classics like Hollow Knight and The Nightmare Before Christmas, promising a fun Halloween-themed adventure. The concept is indeed intriguing, but as we delve into the game, we start to encounter some smoke and warning lights. While there are some interesting features under the hood, they're often overshadowed by a range of issues that we'll be unpacking in this review. The game is a delightful mix of Hollow Knight's gameplay mechanics and the world of Jack Skellington. It delivers a fun style choice that celebrates the best holiday of the year, Halloween. This theme extends to characters, including shopkeepers and other NPCs who are based on famous figures, but in costume. The game's humor and pop culture references, such as a vampire Joe bite them or a pumpkin man in a turtleneck called Jobs, certainly add to its charm. Unfortunately, the game's progression is hampered by the need to unlock shops by investing resources, a process that often feels slow and tedious. Repeatedly having to defeat bosses for specific materials can feel more like a chore than a challenge, especially when crafting ingredients are not guaranteed. Adding to the setbacks, the overall world feels muted in terms of color and themes. Aside from a few neon signs, the background doesn't really stand out, and the game seems to be more focused on meme-wide jokes than immersive world building. Combat, on the other hand, is a bright spot once you get the hang of it, with 16 weapons to unlock and two different attacks for each. However, the same crafting issues persist here, extending gameplay unnecessarily. One of the highlights in combat, though, is the enemy designs, reminiscent of early 2000s cartoons. Unfortunately, death or treat feels somewhat rushed and perhaps missing some features common in the genre, like branching paths and levels. Coupled with various bugs, including missing text from certain prompts and enemies getting stuck in patrol patterns, it's hard not to feel distracted from the game's more charming elements. In the crowded world of 2D roguelites, Death or Treat struggles to hold its own against the competition. While it's not a bad game, it falls short of its full potential due to numerous visual and technical bugs. For players considering this game, it might be worth waiting until the issues are addressed and possibly until it's discounted. That's it for this review, folks. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found it useful, and subscribe for more gaming content. Until next time, happy gaming.